Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com, and today we're going to talk a little bit about how to save and help endangered species. Um, so, endangered species are those species that are at risk of going extinct, which means they no longer exist. Um, many scientists actually say that we're currently in the sixth mass extinction, um, so there have been five other events in the period of Earth's history um, where there have been major die-offs. Um, so a lot, or several scientists say that we are now in a sixth one, um, but that this one is largely human caused. Um, so there are many, many endangered species um, currently, and that list is being updated yearly. Um, so in order to understand what you can do to help, uh, we need to understand some of the major causes of endangered of species endangerment. Um, one of the most important causes is habitat loss. So if an organism loses the place where it lives, uh, it's going to have trouble. Uh, continuing on and existing. Um, so habitat loss, that's like deforestation, um, as well as sort of cities expanding and encroaching upon former uh, wild areas. Um, you have over-exploitation, so the harvesting of animals, um, maybe elephants for their tusks or for meat a lot of times. Um, things that, you know, people need to eat, but the way that things are done now, um, a lot of times it's considered poaching and it's just to such a scale that the animals can't regenerate themselves fast enough. Um, you have pollution. Um, climate change is a major one that's affecting uh, organisms, and they simply can't adapt fast enough. Um, you have invasive species that are being introduced, um, largely through human movements to distant places. Species are kind of um, tagging along and then being set free in this new environment where they don't have any competition. Um, and then finally, there's also disease. So diseases are spread and always cause problems. Um, so some things that you can do to help. Um, habitat loss is one of those major ones that we try to prevent. Um, and we usually go about setting up conservation areas. Um, conservation is great, absolutely wonderful. Um, the only problem is that people are there too. Um, we're trying to keep people out. Um, so one uh, thing that's been developed um, recently is a concept called community-based conservation. I highly encourage you to support community-based conservation efforts. Basically what they're trying to do is get the people living around the preserve um, invested in the project by having their lives directly benefited by the conservation of those species. Um, so check out more about com community-based conservation for sure and try to support it. Um, in terms of uh, a lot of the other factors, pollution, climate change, that kind of stuff, um, try to decrease the amount of waste that you're putting out, um, limit your fossil fuel use, all those sorts of things. Um, really be careful when traveling to new zones that you're not introducing new species, that sort of stuff. Um, ultimately, though, keep in mind that humans are part of a larger system. We're part of the Earth. We're one, um, one species, and we're having dramatic impacts. So if you live your life with that thought in mind, um, you'll definitely be doing your part to help endangered species.